Hi there YouTube, um, I like to do a few videos sometimes on uh, basically rubbish you get from China. Uh, I quite like stuff from China. Uh, it's always cheap, sometimes it's quite good um, and cheap, sometimes it's rubbish and cheap. Occasionally it's utterly bloody lethal, um, which is why I couldn't resist this. Uh, no, it's not a deviant sex toy, it's actually for boiling water. Although you wouldn't initially tell it because there's nothing on the packaging in English, which I like. Uh, a little bit more disturbing is the fact that it's, uh, there's no indication whatsoever about the voltage. Uh, oh, hang on. Oh, it says 220, 50 hertz down there. Oh, that's nice. Um, I don't know. I wouldn't trust it. What I particularly wouldn't trust about it, though, is how it boils water. Uh, you're probably expecting it to have some sort of element inside. Oh, that was sealed well. Anyway. Um, Nope, hasn't got an element. Oh God, that cable's awful. That's got no copper whatsoever inside of that, hasn't. I'm staying away from that. Um, no, there's no element. And what there is, look. Look at that, it's beautiful. Is that a big gap? What that is, you can probably work it out if you know anything about electricity and thermal dynamics. Uh, there's basically just two strips of I'll say metal, um, one goes down one side to the, well, positive or negative, and one to the other side goes to the other one. And what basically happens is you put it in water, water becomes a conductor, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm full of cold. Um, water becomes a conductor and boils. Uh, sounds deadly, probably is. Uh, there's some instructions here, hang on. Uh, it says to put it in water and plug it into the mains. What's not deadly about that? I guess my best bet's not to totally bloody submerge it though, so I'll just ditch some of that water into a suitable receptacle. Alright, how does that look? It looks bloody lethal. So that's in there. And get a better view of that. And then we plug this end into a equally shonky imported mains and it's going in now. Stand by for bang. Oh, it's in and it's out. There we go. Oh my good night. Just how long this takes. Because there's probably, what, two thirds of a pint of water there. Um, quickly start a timer. Although I'm of course aware it's already started. The steam coming off that already. Uh, stopwatch, here we go, start. Oh my up-to-date phone. Do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to stick a bit of water back in there again just so it covers that top electrodes because quite frankly it's terrifying. There we go. How are we doing? Uh, that's 30 seconds it's had and you know what I think that's... What would happen if I... I think it's just lethal. And that's hot already. That's 30 seconds and that's hot already. You know, I'm almost scared to stick my bloody temperature probe in there in case it does something horrible. And anyway, we'll, we'll risk it in the name of science. I do not trust this at all. I don't think that's reading right. I think electricity is doing something to the probe. There's no, that's 22 degrees C. Yeah, that's getting painful to hold now. Bloody hell. So that is just pure, god that cable's gone soft, oh, that is, nah, that's, that's, that's boiling everywhere now, that is absolutely boiling, that took less than two minutes did you say, let's have a look, yep two minutes to boil 
nearly a pint of water. You've got to give it its juice. It's really good at what it does. Um, I just don't think it's particularly safe. Uh, I'll still use it though. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching. I'm going to try and turn it off now that killing itself. <laughs>